The women take to the lanes for the first time at the WTBA World Championships and a furious final qualifying game for Puerto Rico's Mariana Ayala gets her a singles bronze medal and a great start to her week. It was a really good start. I was just going like one shot at a time, trying to manage the pocket. And I knew I was close, and, but I knew that every shot counted, so I wanted to make a good one. And it was exciting. <laughs> the other bronze goes to Huang Chung Yao of Chinese Taipei, who led the field by more than 20 pins per game. And the story of much of this day was the Taipei spinner bowling style that made two of their bowlers the top two qualifiers. The style you see, we see it a lot of times internationally. It's a very unique style. They use lightweight bowling balls. They're about 11 to 11 and a half pounds. And they actually almost spin it backwards towards it almost like a helicopter. That's why it's got its, its name, the helicopter release. Very effective, very accurate bowlers and everything. And the hardest part is they're using deflection to their advantage, whereas a regular hook style bowler doesn't want to have deflection. So it's almost a complete opposite of the way we play the game. The gold medal match featured another Chinese Taipei bowler, Wang Ya Ting, who would have to settle for silver because in the end it's Korea's Ru So Yun coming out golden. Four years removed from winning two gold medals at the World Championships in Las Vegas, Ru takes home singles gold in Henderson. She, she have good memories, so he, he have um, confidence, more more confidence, good memory. Because the last last championship, she has good memories. The Team USA women struggle today with no bowler finishing higher than 23rd. Tomorrow, the guys are back at it in doubles competition with live streaming beginning at 11 a.m. Eastern on Bowl.com. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl TV.